Hey, everyone, in today's video we'll be discussing how you can use reverse engineering techniques in the way you think, so you can be smarter and learn new things in Storm 4 and everyday life. First, what is reverse engineering? Reverse engineering is the process of taking something apart and analyzing its components to understand how it works. The reason why it's important to use reverse engineering is that it helps you understand how Storm 4 works, empowers you to analyze the core functionality of the game, and enables you to discover hidden features and mechanics, just like this new infinite I found with Hanabi. Here are three ways you can use reverse engineering to improve your learning experience. Analyzing Game Mechanics by breaking down the mechanics of Naruto Storm 4, you can gain a deeper understanding of how the game works and identify key elements that can help you perform better. You can also discover hidden secrets, shortcuts, and techniques that will give you an advantage over other players. That's right mystery man, the process of analyzing game mechanics involves breaking down the elements that make up a game, and evaluating how they contribute to the overall player experience. This can involve several steps, including the following you see on screen. Lucky for you this game is old and a lot of mechanics and techniques have already been defined, but don't let that discourage you because there are still a lot of things that haven't been found yet, and there is an abundance of characters and combinations you can use to discover new tricks, which is why I created a step-by-step -step guide on how to break down a character's mechanics in my Discord channel, named Storm 4 Laboratory. This Discord channel provides a comprehensive overview of the process and includes clear and easy-to-follow steps. I believe it will be extremely helpful for anyone who wants to understand and analyze a character's mechanics. Study Game Design and Behavioral Patterns By looking at the design and patterns of a video game, you can gain insights into how the game is typically played and what strategies are most effective. This can help you make the most of the game, and give you a deeper appreciation of the art and craft behind everyone's playstyles. Agreed. This is where I personally excel and why I'm asked how my playstyle is so effective and different compared to how others play the game. The secret is to reverse engineer your opponent's behavioral pattern slash playstyle in order to understand the strategies and goals they desire to accomplish. After playing thousands of players you'll recognize patterns and comfortability levels with your opponents. With that knowledge, you can develop your own playstyle to counter many. Next time you play someone, follow these steps on screen to practice reverse engineering one's behavioral pattern. Note that reverse engineering your opponent's playstyle is not a guarantee of success, and it may take time and practice to effectively apply these techniques. If you're having a hard time, try watching and learning from experts such as RJX Hunter. Watching skilled players can be a valuable learning experience. You can see how they handle different situations, understand their strategies, and learn from their techniques. This will give you a deeper understanding of the game and help you identify areas where you can improve. In conclusion, reverse engineering is a powerful tool for learning new things. Whether you're analyzing game mechanics, labbing a character, or watching experts play, these techniques can help you gain a deeper understanding of the game and improve your skills. I hope you guys take heed to these topics, whenever you want to learn something, try reverse engineering it. It helped me a bunch throughout life, which is why I'm sharing it with you. I will be uploading more Naruto-related content and streaming in the near future. Take care and see you soon!